connect on YouTube, but I will read for you. I will yeah. do, I will read the questions. If you let me go, if you give me some time, we will have fun tonight because I want to explain it to the people. Okay. Lori, io non mi vedo qua. I want to explain it to the people how we work. Siamo live? Okay. Ragazzi, okay. se, se, ragazzi le vede, la vedete? Oh, they see you, they say you are fantastic, but I told them, I told them that tonight they had the best one in the world. Let me do a small introduction of you, baby, because this is my occasion to talk about you live with the fans, ok? Just, okay, just 30 God. seconds in Italian. Ragazzi, qui questa sera avete davanti a voi quella che io ritengo è una delle più belle attrici al mondo. Uh, dovete sapere che quello che viene considerata MILF è una ragazza, una donna di una certa età. A volte noi scambiamo per MILF delle 25 anni un po' uh, che hanno già una carriera lunga di tanti anni di teenager. Allora dovete sapere che con lei c'è stata una situazione molto particolare. Spero che stasera ve lo racconterà perché è una ragazza estremamente sincera, molto cuore enorme, non solo le tette, eh. dietro c'è un cuore enorme ed è una ragazza fantastica, ha iniziato molto molto tardi per un semplice motivo che forse vi dirà ed, ha, ed è credo una delle più grandi MILF al mondo della storia, per me è la più grande, Io ho lavorato con tutte le MILF americane prima che diventassero anche MILF e devo dirvi che lei... Veronica Avlov è la più grande, la fantastica, un cuore enorme, non voglio fare la promozione, ma è la sincerità, credetemi. So guys, here you have Veronica Avlov, the best ever meal for me in the history. And it's, I'm sincere, uh, Veronica, I'm sincere because I've been working with many MILF, uh, even before they became MILF, and with you, With you, it's not only about your beauty, the way you work, uh, the way you deliver. There is a chemistry, there is many things, and especially you remember the day we met me, you and my cousin, Gabriel, in Los Angeles. You remember that day? Yes, he, yes, he was, he, he was, he was dressing you and you told him something that he was a little embarrassing to tell and i love this real stories when a person come into the porn because she was a porn fan this is incredible yes yes well listen rocco first of all i must say to you <clears throat> i'm a huge fan of opera and to listen to you open up this entire thing i felt like i was listening to you know i felt like i was sitting in the audience watching a puccini opera <laughs> <laughs> but it's all about you it's so real grazie grazie signori grazie. there is one thing there is one thing about you i didn't i didn't have to read any script i didn't have to learn any script it's all from my heart because it's what i think about you well thank you that makes me <laughs> You're so passionate and and I'm I really honestly the scene that we did together is one of my top all-time favorite scenes because you know the things that the camera the cameras don't catch these things when you walk in and you first meet that person and contrary to what most people might believe just like in any other situation in porn we have chemistry yeah Or we don't. I have met people that I've had great scenes with, but would we continue to fuck when the cameras walked away <laughs> like it happened? <laughs> I remember during that scene, you were on top of me and you were looking down at me and you were just, and I was just at this level where tears were streaming down my face. And you were on top of me and you said, you know what I am doing to you now? And I was like, no. <laughs> and you said, I am. <laughs> I remember. <laughs> and then I was on my back. And I was like, 
There's no cameraman in sight. Oh my God. That scene was one of the very few scenes. Now I, I would be lying if I said there were not other scenes, but I would say maybe three. You, you know, in you know what, you here. know what was that cameraman? You know what, where was that cameraman? He was cleaning his face with your squirt because you keep squirting on his face all the time. In the end, the camera was going crazy. <laughs> Did he step away for a little coffee too? I <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. And listen, for those of you out there, this doesn't mean like there's like romance, love going on, but there is this chemistry. We are professionals. We're working together. But once in a while you meet someone where the poor crew is just, they're not going to stop it because it's very genuine. Most sets you go on to, you're doing your positions, everything's fun and good, and then you know you know you have to reset and set up for the next position. It's very rare to find someone that you can work with that really like you just start and then it just goes until it ends, which is I don't know how much longer later because you lose all track of time. Yeah. That is what I love about sex. And that is what I experienced with you. And that is Honestly, I will say, and I'm not a negative person, I am a little disappointed that scene just only got nominated and didn't win something because I know what you and I put into that day. Yeah. I'll tell you what, I had to sit in my car after that, after we all shut down for probably about an hour before I could drive home. Yeah, I, re I remember it was fantastic. We, we spent a few hours for that scene. I think it was yeah. a few hours. I remember my cousin says, Rocco, you break my back. You break. Mi hai rotto la schiena, li mortacci tua, cazzo, con sta camera. So, guys, okay, guys, let me tell you, uh, don't worry, because with Veronica, I will spend a little more time tonight, because we are used to, to have long time sex. Facciamo sesso per molte ore, quindi staremo un po' di più questa sera. Non preoccupatevi, vi risponderà tutte le domande. Uh, uh, Veronica said, probably tonight we stay a little longer, the way we do with the sex, so you will answer a little bit more questions, because they love you. Uh, there is so many oh, positions okay. already. Uh, so sorry, so many questions, so no, many, no, so no, many no. positions, so many questions. Okay. Oh no, positions. I only know one. Ah, uh, only, only one. Which one? Pardon me. Which one is your preferred position? Um, the one where um my ankles are in prayer position. That what they call it ankles to Jesus. Now, see, I don't want to disrespect anyone out there. Sorry, there go the cops. This is Miami, you know. Miami. Let me see the let me see the best position for you. Let me see that. Why do I like this? One, because you can become go Oh deep. my god, this is the best. And I do have sensual feet and they are sensitive. And I do like that's that I'm not a foot worshiper myself, but I love people that worship feet. Yeah, this is a show us your feet right away so we already lo lose five questions. Show us your feet on the screen so that we'll see your beautiful feet right away. Oh guys, ragazzi, guardate i piedi di Avlu Veronica. She has fantastic feet, guys. Fantastic. So we already have Thank you, thank you very much. Okay, here the people going crazy. I tell you what they are writing. This is the best milf ever. A colpaccio from Giuseppe. Uh, okay, they keep saying just you, you already drive everybody crazy. Everybody, the top, absolute the top. Grazie Rox, best milf, best milf, best milf ever. I'm ready. I want to go on that bed. I'm ready. Please wait for me. So... <laughs> The people going crazy. The people going crazy. Okay, a uh, woman stupenda. Stupenda means wonderful. Perfect. I want to marry her. I don't know if you are still married or not, I guess. Probably. I don't know. You have a boyfriend, I guess. I, I have a boyfriend. He's a little younger than me. I guess I'm following in a long line of, of 
the women in my family. That's nice. Luca. No, I was in shock when I realized it, but it's about 20 years difference. That's nice. That's nice. Keep doing this because you need a guy who performs good and you know this. So, Luca Mariotti says, do you know what is rusty trombone? What is it? <laughs> rusty trombone. Rusty. You know what a rusty trombone is? It's one of those brass instruments that you play on and no one oiled it up enough? Uh, it's it's, it's what? It's uh, what? It's what? 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 <laughs> to, to get it to make a squeaky sound. Yes. I make a rusty trombone is. This is uh, almost what it is, but you have to have the guy sit on your face and you jerk his uh, dick. That's the way. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> That's it. That's it. Okay, let's start with some nice question here. So you said your position, uh, preferred position, it's almost like the other girls, missionary, they say the other girls, because they say, they say missionary, but you made a missionary a little bit more, uh, let's say, a little bit more sophisticated, the way I like, actually, because the girls said, the other actresses said, because they love to see the eyes, they love to, uh, to, to, to touch the body of the partner. What do you think? I like that, but my real, okay, I love doggy too. My real, real reason for this, because sometimes, you know, the guy is like, Ugh, he can't even open his eyes. So I'm not looking into his, if I'm, the way my pussy works, and you know this, Rocco, it does this thing, and when I come, it shoots you out. Yeah, but people love this. People love this. Oh, you. <laughs> Or they don't know what's going on. You know, they you know. I need to ask you one question before I start to uh, uh, to to uh, ask you the question of the fans. How many times did you came? Did you squirt with me? 50, 60, 70, 80? How how can you do this? How? Well, one, I, if I can keep count, then it's not genuine. No, but uh, I, I, I I edit the movie. I edit, it so he never stopped. Okay. You never stop. Just because I was that aroused. I mean, there are several factors involved with squirting, as you know. If I'm complete, if I have not had anything but a cup of coffee for the last two days, I'm still going to get the sensation, though. I still get the sensation of the orgasm. It is a specific type of orgasm, and I have many different types of orgasms. Lucky me. Um, but I won't, you won't have fluid. I have to be hydrated for my body. It's just like anything else. Um, but it's not, it's not about peeing. It's about arousal. arousal yeah. Peeing and squirting are very closely related, but they're not exactly the same because I can tell you I've done pee scenes. I'm actually a fan of wet play. Um, and the sensation I go through in order to do that kind of where I'm like just continuous flow, letting it go, it's a different sensation altogether. I remember, right? I remember you used to drink uh, this type of water, smart water. What, what the special smart water? <laughs> That's because I want to stay on, you know, top of things. I thought that was the squirt water. <laughs> <laughs> No, that's what you drink afterwards. I know, but you drink, <laughs> you drink before too, I saw. Oh, yeah. Well, you have to stay hydrated. And I mean, honestly, look at me right now. I live in a place that's very moist. Um, I do believe in the power of hydration. I am 47 years old. I'm older. Um, and I do like to have my drink. I like to have my, you know, cigarette from time to time. You we saw each other in Europe, you know, I'm a real human being. I'm not like, oh, I only eat grass and I only breathe purified oxygen. No, no, you are, you are incredible. I'm, I'm a real person. I like to get down and boogie hard. By the way, that was really fun with you. And, the, and, yeah, and the 40, 47, you said, and you still perform this way because I saw you in uh, Erotic Land in Slovenia. It was fantastic, your performance. Let me tell you something. I wish we could do that 
at the Avian Awards. I know. How much more fun would that be? I mean, right now with everything, you know, no, 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 no. But that live show, you know, you I don't think you were already out of the building because you had done your job or maybe you were just somewhere else. I don't know because I was having so much fun. I went up on, on stage and I had sex three times that <laughs> night. The <laughs> last one... I had that Hitachi like a microphone and they were playing ACDC, you know, and <laughs> literally when the whole thing was over and I had squirted all over the place. I was definitely the submissive person in that scene. I had that Hitachi. Everyone else was down the stairs and off the stage and I was still like out there with my Hitachi just like, yeah, motherfuckers. Get, 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 get. <laughs> like, Veronica, you got to get off the stage now. And I'm like, no! <laughs> Can I tell you something? This is one of the best places I ever see since few years because that's the only place where we can do exactly what we are. We can express <laughs> ourselves. It's freeness. We love this place, but unfortunately, there is only one or two countries where you can do this. Another country is Spain. Spain is the same. I love Spain. I'm so sorry for what everyone's going through there. I have some really good friends in Spain. And you know how many times I had to visit Spain before I ended up making friends for life? It's crazy, I know. It's crazy in Italy, Sorry. crazy in Spain. Oh, uh, I think it's crazy in America too now, a little bit, no? It, it is. Yeah. So I, I like, you know, all honesty. And I know the fans want to ask questions, so I'll be really brief, because I can just, I'm like your average girl, okay? I can just talk and talk and what talk you, what your you, head off. What, but we love to hear you. We love to leave you, Veronica. What are you doing at the moment for the quarantine? Are you working uh, on your personal uh, OnlyFans? I'm doing the OnlyFans. That's pretty much what I what's do. Your, I what's, your only fan? what's your OnlyFans? What's your OnlyFans? It's OnlyFans dot com slash veronica avlov and avlov is vulva spelled backwards for those of you that didn't catch that before vulva is a play on you know avlov avlov is yeah, you know what a vulva so is. You feel, you, so you feel, yeah, I know exactly, and the Italians understand this very well. So I, uh, you are compressed at the moment, and you need to fuck every day. That's the truth. I, you know what's fun? Yeah. I got a fucking machine. <laughs> a pinguin, a pinguin, oh, the pinguin. You have the pinguin. <laughs> no, 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 no. I got a little one off my Amazon wish list. I finally put one up after years and years and years and was surprised at the response. But now I have one because I kind of broke it. I, I've done that at kink.com too. I've broken this. How, did you, how do you break the machine? What do you do with this machine? <laughs> Because when I start coming that hard and I start squirting that hard, I literally squeeze down and push out. Okay, okay. And I've, I've, made, I've literally made the machine go... You're, you know something? You know something? You was, doing this, you was doing this with my dick too. Yes, I know. But I, I try... But Actually, it's, uh, you know it feels funny? good. It feels good. <laughs> Guys don't realize that, like, that's a golden pussy. That's the kind of pussy you talk to your friends about. Like, dude, I don't know what's up with that chick. With her, I don't know what's going on over there. But that's like, you, I, you, you don't find one of those in a, in a rare while. I met this girl one time. Her name was Cindy Sin or something like this. I worked with her on a girl girl shoot for Hustler. I had never met anyone like me before. I had met girls that were similar or whatever, but nothing like with the control, like that squeeze. I worked with this girl. She, she should have been a big star. I don't know what happened. You know how that yeah. is. She, you could literally put water in your hand and just cup it up underneath her pussy and she could suck it up and then walk around and hold it. She could suck water out of a straw. Wow. 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 No. Wow. You're, now I know it's going through your mind. You're like, wow. Wow. Anyway. Oh, now we know. We know, you know. Uh, let's read some questions. There is uh, people who start to ask very crazy stuff now. Yeah. Music on. 
uh, Ro uh, Rocco, please ask her to prolapse. No, guys, we cannot do this. We cannot do this because the yeah. the problem is she will do it. So no, no, please. Luca Mariotti says, can you squirt now? No, 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 no. Okay, everybody goes crazy, 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 crazy. Okay, let's go. Let's go with some nice question to start with. Uh, <laughs> Veronica, what is your best female porn star? Serpico, the girl you think she's the really some real porn star, the way you like it. Adriana Chachik. Ah, Come on. the best. You're right. You're right. There is a. And I would say Megan Rain. Megan Rain, Adriana. Uh, yeah, there is, there is a few like uh, Angela White. I've never gotten to work with her. Right, so you don't um, know her? No, I know her. I've been on set with her and we've flirted. I mean, I'm genuinely bisexual and so is she. There's, there's you know, there are some girls that only do it because they're doing it. But oh. there are some of us that are like, I want to eat you up. And definitely Angela White and I had some chemistry, but we both had scenes that day. Oh, and okay, so, okay, okay. So we have, you know, I, I was yeah. just uh, mentioning because check. check. And make it really know. check. If I was a guy, if I was stuck alone in a room with any two girls I could be stuck alone with mm -hmm, mm -hmm. it would definitely be adriana chechik and megan rain and if you could have three i would pray i would be there nice so claudio uh, claudio uh how did you start um well i started generally like most of us do at the beginning and then i worked my way to the middle and at some point i'll be at the end no how did i start i got into this because I was already working behind the camera in show business, and actually the truth was is I needed a little extra income. I had already done Playboy lingerie. Um, I had already, you know, I'd been a stripper from the age of 17. I, nobody knew that at the time, but, you know, um, so I'd been around all of it, and times were changing, and I ran into Dylan Ryder at a book signing event, and I was a huge fan of hers. I don't know if any of you remember her out there. Beautiful girl. And I just asked her, you know, I said, so what do you make doing a girl, girl shoot? And she and I exchanged numbers because I was a makeup artist already at the time. And we talked, and I just kind of jumped into it. And then I didn't expect this, though, because I, when I look in the mirror, and I'm not one of those weird girls that's like, I need compliments. And I don't put myself down. I know I'm pretty. But I've always been a little awkward. I've always been kind of a nerd. So I never thought that this would take off the way mm -hmm. it did. Luca, never, never Luc grateful for. Luca Mariotti asks, do you know any nasty word in Italian? Fanculo. <laughs> Ragazzi, fanculo. You know what that means? You know what that means, cazzo? Cazzo. Cazzo, no, I uh, don't. Dick, 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 dick. Cazzo is dick. It's what you love the most. <laughs> you, do you like more pussy or dick? dick? Dick. Clear. It's clear. It's written on your face, on your eyes. Uh, we have here one of the best fans ever, porn industry in Italy. He loves everybody and is your biggest, biggest fans. Fabio. Fabio from Sicily. Is here tonight oh. and he will he will he says he will ask you many questions many many questions uh, okay last Laura Nyosh is an Hungarian fan he's asking about the scene with uh, Sean Diesel how was your scene with Sean Diesel oh Shane Diesel, Shane Diesel. yeah sorry Shane Shane uh, Mr what I don't even know no Shane is amazing um, I actually begged, the scene was so good that I begged him towards the end to put his cock in my ass, but it wasn't an anal scene. And he leaned over and he said, honey, honey, you should save that for next time. <laughs> Why? Why? <laughs> this way. But I was like, I was all for it, man. I, I, I hate to say it because we don't disobey these rules, but I was so aroused during that scene that every time the cameraman came close enough, I was like, I just want to reach out and just, because I'm a fan of more than one dick, you know? Yeah. And he was cute. So I was like, I, you know, you can't, you can't I just want to go. That stuff does happen. It doesn't, 
necessarily end up with follow through, but I have had situations on set where I've been like, I am spreading my pussy lips for an entire room of camera crew, and I am the only girl in here, and I am such a naughty girl because I'm <laughs> I... really enjoying this. Jo Giovanni Sinatra, what do you think about James Dean? What do I think about James Dean? I've known James for years. And as someone, I'm not quite nearly as submissive as I was, you know, mm -hmm. throughout my progression in my career. But I've worked with James on several very hardcore shoots. And my take on him is I have a signal with anyone I work with where I'm putting myself at risk of being injured or traumatized in some way. Mm -hmm. I do the two tap. And they know it beforehand. I'll tell them, you know, if I tap you twice, please, please back off a little. Something's uncomfortable or something's really hurting. Mm -hmm. but it's, not, it's not a hard stop because I would just say stop. I never had a problem with them. And I actually, some of the best scenes I've ever had were with James Dean. So I, I can't say a bad word about him at all. You know, I think he's great. Yeah, I know, but uh, some of the questions, they just like to know uh, what you think. It doesn't mean bad. It means probably good right, right, the, right. so it's generally when people ask it's like that okay it's, so it, now it's I new from me to hear that you you have some limits on your body because uh, when i was working with you i did almost everything i i had on my on my <laughs> it depends upon who you are mm -hmm. and how you treat me okay if you're respectful then Chances are, and I mean, things happen physically. I've had situations where I was going at it at something crazy and I was all for it. And then all of a sudden I hear a pop and I'm like, okay, you know, and this, is like, do, this is like being an athlete, what we do. But I do have certain limits. It, it depends upon how you approach it. Yeah, me. it's clear. You, you're, you're really... I don't know what it is about you, but the way you approach me, I feel like if I said to you something beforehand, you would never even try to go there. It's clear. It's clear. We understand with the eyes. We understand very well. Yeah. I mean, I mean, yes. that's how it works. You, you, without say nothing, you authorize me until a certain level. And you always look me and say, keep going. We are, we are connected. Keep going. You, I'm fine. I'm fine. Yeah. That's how it works. Fra Francesco Guarino, Veronica, in which situation you come the most? DP, go, uh, uh, boy, girl, or orgy? Um, okay, honestly, orgasm-wise, if it's good, DP. DP. Um, but I really love, but the orgy is like mentally so sexy to me to see other women being pleasured by men and just all of that freedom. But I'd say just physical orgasms, DP. No. Just a regular DP. Nice. Luca Mariotti, yeah. what is your secret to be like you are? <laughs> <laughs> so. Laugh a, lot. Laugh a lot. Be good to each other. Be good to yourself. And always remember that just like it is for you, it is for everyone else out there. You're made of flesh and blood. I, I don't know. I stay humble. Just, I like to laugh. I love to listen to music. I have my phone on silent a lot. I'm not attached to my phone, although I'm, you know, definitely I have to use it. It's my computer. I'm not a real computer nerd. I have a lot of books I like to read. I have art supplies. I, you know, I even have silly stuffed animals. I just, I like to be, I love to cook. I love to bring happiness into this world. And I think that's probably sexually what makes me how I am because I do love the sharing of exquisite pleasure. Yeah, you you are super generous. That's the main secret. You are generous, generous. You give always everything you have, everything. That's what I saw from you. You give everything. Uh, there, is, uh, there is one guy who's asking, how, Angelo Serra Cassano, how do you prepare for your anal scene? That's very simple. Thank you for asking, Angelo. Um, I have an attachment 
to my shower hose. <laughs> and, no, I just, I enema out. I, I get the water kind of low pressure, so it's coming out maybe that high. When I hold the hose up, you know, you can take the shower head off, you put the attachment on. And this is good for men and women, even if you're not having anal sex, just to keep some clean in there. It's nice. You do a little whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. For an anal scene, especially if it's a big group or a heavy DP, <clears throat> I'll clean more. But probably, I would say every day, I clean my ass just a little. I just... It's very simple, and it makes you feel fresh. It makes you feel more refreshed. And always ready. Always. Fra Francesco Capelli said, it's easy to make you squirt also in your private life. <clears throat> yes, sometimes to my dismay. I have a lot of laundry I have to do. I'm constantly having to change my sheets. <laughs> <laughs> it's fun. <laughs> It's fun at the time, but it does make a mess. But I will say this, I definitely, for the movies, I would say I, I, you will see me drinking a lot of water, so there's more for you to see. But in real sex, in real life, not that movies are not real sex, because we're obviously really having sex, it's I squirt almost every time. Wow. I squirt. And if I don't actually eject fluid, I still have that kind of orgasm. Oh, I, need, I, I, need to, I need to ask you one thing for the woman. Let's say I'm the woman now and I want to learn yeah. how to squirt because many women ask me, Rock, why I cannot squirt? What do you think? What, what is for you, since for you it's so easy? What, what is the advice you give to the woman? Well, I actually had the pleasure of training with a tantrika. I don't know how many of you out there know what tantra is. It's yeah. T-A-N-T-R-A. Okay. And one of the things they teach is that women, just like their breast tissue, we have a certain amount of glands that we're going to grow, some more, some less. We have these glands around our tube that goes from our bladder, where you pee from. We have these glands that surround that area. And some have more, some have less. I probably have a lot of them. When your Kegel muscles are strong, this is how women need to start learning how to squirt. Mm -hmm. Do your Kegel exercises. Squeeze your muscles. When you're sitting on the toilet, when you have to pee, pee and then stop it. Let it go. Stop it. Let it go. You will start to learn how to use those muscles down there. Trust me, the stronger they are, the bigger your orgasms are, and the more the man will enjoy it too, or your female partner, mm -hmm. because that's why I push you out. My muscles are so strong. Um, Kegel exercises is the way to start. Second of all, don't stress out about the squirting part. The thing that you need to focus on is having your area down there strong and healthy and enjoying it. When I really started squirting was when I relaxed. When I finally accepted that I'm going to be this girl with the crooked bottom teeth and not perfect and just relaxed and gave into my body, that's when I started squirting. It's an acceptance. Oh, because it something like fear you know so, so yeah i'm sorry i could do an entire hour for women uh, no no this. but that's that's very nice because you're explaining perfect what a man should never do it like what is the wrong thing uh, you can do nacho was explaining uh, in one uh, interview how to do it and so he he, he started to do like spider-man moving hands stuff inside outside and we make some fun jokes but he said 80 percent of the time it works like the way of moving on top of the clitoris yes okay you mean this one yes he was like uh, pr making something like this Yes, because it relaxes the girl, unless you're doing it too hard, and you don't know. I remember I did a scene with a girl one time, and she was so sensitive, I made her come one time, and then I couldn't touch her after that. Mm -hmm. I can come many times. So you have to be sensitive to the level of how sensitive this girl is. If she's really sensitive, you just do it lightly. But yes, it relaxes that area. What you're dealing with is you're dealing with the clitoral area and down to the, the hole where you actually pee out of. 
they think about this. Mint, sorry, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> <laughs> no. no, it's good. It's good. It's good. <laughs> right. But men ejaculate out of their pee hole. Why shouldn't women? Right? Yes. So you're yes, asking that yes. the one I would say you should never do, at least don't ever try it with me. Mm -hmm. And it's on film too many times. And once it starts, it's almost too late to stop the guy. Is this move. Yeah. That one, at least for me, is too much. You might as well just push down on my bladder. Then just, you know, then I'll just pee. Uh -huh. So it's, it's not about forcing it. It's about allowing the girl to be so aroused and so in that zone of orgasm. It's the most intense orgasm ever. That's It really, really that's is. That's very nice. Thank you, thank you, thank you for this beautiful explanation. Alex wants to know, you prefer older or younger men? It seems that I'm attracted to younger men, but I've always liked older men. I think what I prefer is I prefer intelligent men who listen to good music and that are very kind. And then, and after and, they fuck you good anyway. <laughs> no, I got the, and the sex has to be there or we're going to be friend zoned. And I'm sorry to yeah, say yeah, that. Yeah. Paolo Busuccia, uh, what do you think about Danny D? What do I think about yeah. Danny D? I think he's hilarious. The first time I saw his penis was for a Christmas scene for Brazzers. <laughs> and it flopped out of his pants. And my friend, Vic Legina, was shooting it. And he knew me all too well, okay? He knows I'm definitely... I didn't get forced into this business. I'm a fucking perv. I looked at his dick. It plopped right. He was in a Santa Claus outfit. He came down the chimney, okay? Plops out of the Santa Claus outfit, and it's going like this in front of my face. And I'm like. <laughs> <laughs> Be, that was it, supposed to be a vaginal scene. I turned it into an anal scene. Yes, yes huge dick. Uh, <laughs> there is uh, Giovanni Sinatra. What's the difference between American porn and European porn? You have been in both, both places. Yes. Um, it still sucks. I think America had a different system set up around it. So I feel like the, it's the American system is more set up to make superstars out of people as opposed to the European. Otherwise, I mean, we're all working hard and we're having sex. European porn does sometimes tend to get a little more like out there, but you know, far be it from me. Like I've gone to Sperma Studio and done the big gangbangs because I asked. Like I love that. You're not going to see that in America. Mm -hmm. um, I I think the girls that come out of Europe are generally so stunningly beautiful, and I often wonder why they don't become bigger stars. I think we just have a different system set yeah. up here in America. No, de definitely yeah. the porn is in America, not in Europe to become a star. I always say this, you can be a big star, yeah. but if you want to be real star, you have to go to the States. Uh, uh, yeah. Francesco Capelli, do you prefer a dick? That's the first time they ask this question. A dick with foreskin or cir circumcised? <laughs> I was just talking about this earlier. I was watching Playboy Channel. Oh. Um, I actually don't have a preference. I don't. I, I think, okay, I think a circumcised cock looks prettier in general. Mm -hmm. But as far as, like, having fun with it, either one works for me. No, no difference. Luca Mario. It's about who it's attached to. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Luca Mariotti, what do you think about the big Manuel Ferrara? Pass. Passed? Ah, Pass. okay. <laughs> Daniele, yeah. Daniele. Veronica, with legal porn, you had a problem. Ask why. I don't know how does he know this. Very strange. Uh, pass. Okay. No, no, to... let's not talk yeah. about things you don't want to talk. Domenico, Domenico Manciacotti, what do you think about Rocco Sifredi? Oh, no, that's past. Past, I past. <laughs> I love Rocco Sifredi. I love him. Oh, my gosh. It, it, as much as I love you, uh, uh, this is uh, 
be between me and you, we know exactly uh, what is Tarif Ahmed. What do you think about Marcus Dupre? Marco, who? Dupre, Dupre. Oh, Marcus Dupre. Yeah. Oh, I love him. I, I love Marcus. I, I know, I know. Is is the is the new big Marcus. talent, the new big guy in the United Ooh, States. Let me tell you, and I know you already know this because <clears throat> right when Marcus started out in the United States, <laughs> um, I ended up telling the same guy I mentioned before, Vic Legina over at Browsers about this guy from Russia. I'm like, dude, just trust me, get him on your set. Cause he asked me if I knew him. I'm like, let me tell you something. I've never seen a guy just from beginning to end the whole way through. Like he knows what he's doing. He's excited. He walks in the room and he's like, let's go. And you're like, yeah, buddy. As opposed to the guy who's sitting in the corner on his phone, like, no, man, I've seen Marcus Dupree on a set before finish a scene with two girls. Him, And he's tall, but like, you know, buxom girls, just pulling them up, just riding them. It's like, they're like, we need a break. And he's like, no, we're going to finish <laughs> this and we're going to do it. And, oh my God. Dude, I can't say enough. I, he deserves the awards he gets. I love that guy. He's, incre he's incredible. You know where he comes from, no? <laughs> oh, yeah, I know that, you know, you've trained we, him. We, I you? did, yeah, I discovered he, him in uh, St. Petersburg and he was a big fan of mine. And he was right way sympathetic, right way nice. And they keep breaking his balls because the way he moved the girls, it was always like without kissing between the positions. So I told him, man, you have to fucking kiss the girl. Passion, passion. So, <laughs> so when he arrived to America, he told me, Rocco, in Europe, you break my balls so much that the end in the States, everything came back good for me. <laughs> Bravo. You did a but uh, but I'm problem. very happy about him because he really became he really stepped on top all the prejudges because you know he's Russian come to America oh, he okay. he looked like to me when he won two three years ago the AVN three four awards he looked like to me a little bit the Rocky style you know it's like uh, the yeah. <laughs> it was incredible. Yeah. Well, in, in the beginning, too, because he was Russian, you know, there's a language difference. I know, difference, I know, the way they I know. Communicate, I, Some people don't, don't get it, so I had to tell people, no, just listen to him. He knows what he's doing. Anyway, so next question. But I yeah. love that guy. Love don't him. tell me, because don't tell me, because when I arrived to the States 30 years ago, almost, 89, they tell me when I tried to speak English, I couldn't. I don't speak good now, but at the time it was horrible. And I remember they used to tell me, why this fucking immigrates is here? This fucking Italian immigrates. The other actors, so I know it's difficult. It's tough. It's yes, tough. It's tough. It's, tough. it's tough. So, it's Vivek dope. Patti, did you quit adult industry? Never quit? No, I haven't quit. It's so funny. I get asked that all the time. It's just, I live in an area, believe it or not, that doesn't have a lot of talent around. And a lot of what I do now is personalized stuff for fans. Um, it's, I'm 47 years old. I want to live where I want to live. I don't want to live in LA and I hate Las Vegas. And so I had to make a choice, you know, where am I going to start settling down for my later years? And this happens to be where it is as opposed to being right there where everyone is. I just, I, I, I'm doing my OnlyFans stuff. If a great shoot opportunity comes up that's something that I love and believe in, great. But I don't do stepmommy mm -hmm. stuff, so there goes a lot <laughs> that I don't, I don't, Sorry, I can't. I don't. I've done it in the past, and it's the only thing I regret. I just don't like that stuff. I know it's a fantasy, but for me, no, uh, no. You no. know, you. you I mean, not... you are. You already do so many things. So one, it's okay. You don't do it, Daniel. But uh, this is a. Uh, it's curious. They say, are you Mexican? No. Okay, Gianluca Zenobi. What is the thing you like mostly on your work? I love, <clears throat> okay, that's, I know it's a different language, so I love 
make, I love knowing that other people are having orgasms and sharing pleasure with each other around the world. Um, and I love having orgasms and I'm also grateful that like, you know, I'm not rich, but I have, I have enough. I can make a, a decent living doing something that makes people happy, that keeps me young and makes me happy. So I'm grateful. I'm very grateful and very humble about it. Giovanni Danna, did you ever try triple penetration? He doesn't mention anal or pussy, but do you ever try triple? I've done triple anal twice. Wow. Actually, Marcus wow. Did. Marcus Dupree was in that scene, Mick Blue, and also, oh my gosh, Steve Holmes. <laughs> for I tre della Ave Maria. Oh, Just remind me, who was in the middle? Who was in the middle? Uh, Marcus. So Marcus, he was in the middle. So he never fucked your ass. He fucked the other two dick. <laughs> no, he fucked my ass at least once or twice. And no, but scenes. I mean, you understand. I always say, I always say, how you can do triple penetration? You always have one dick left, one dick right, and you are on the middle. Where is the ass? Where well, do you find the ass? <laughs> I really only know that from looking at the pictures because when it was happening, I was like, no, 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 no. But also, I've done it for legal porno. And let me tell you, when they got three in there, they were in there. I could not walk right for a week. That is something I'm glad I did it. I'm so glad I did unbelievable, it. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. But I never, listen, I will not be able to, to go into my old age without wearing diapers. <laughs> if I can see. <laughs> no. But I love anal, and I can do double anal. And yes, have I been triple penetrated? Yes, of course, many times. One in the pussy, two in the ass, or two in the pussy, one in the ass. I mean, well, so that's the most. The thing you like the most is the multiple guys. I do. I like a good old DP. Nice. I, I, but I mean, in real life, I'm happy to just have someone. Okay, Alessandro Paina, what is the most outrageous thing that you do in real life? What is the most outrageous thing I yes. do in my life? I speak my mind. I get myself in trouble by saying what I think. I don't know. As far as sex goes, I don't know if there's anything outrageous. I, I like to play water sports. I like to actually get my guy aroused. And if he needs to pee in the middle of sex, I take him to the bathtub and I suck the piss out of his cock. So you like water sport, that's, that's really do. turns you on. That's one thing that turns you very much on. I do, as long as it's not, like, as long as you're like, you know, in a bathroom or somewhere where you can clean things up, I love it. I think it's a yeah, lot of fun. Yeah, you don't want to do it in your bed every day and change the sheets like every oh, second. It's nasty, but you gotta be hygienic about it. Do you like water sports? I love it, I love it's it. Come on, come on. You ask me if I, love, if I like water sport, I love it. <laughs> I love it. So what about, um, uh, foot fetish I love foot fetish now I'm not big into worshipping people's feet but I love having my feet worshipped I do I have sensitive feet when I'm having orgasms you'll often see like my leg will start shaking you know like Ariella Ferreira she has the whole thumper thing um, my feet are extremely expressive I took ballet growing up so they're very flexible uh, so I, I do like foot fetish a lot. I yeah. appreciate having my whole body worshipped. Yeah, especially because you have beautiful feet. I remember very well your feet, even though I had only one chance, only one time, but I remember very well. You are, you are, you are like a really a beautiful figure altogether. This is on my remember, but I saw you in Slovenia, so you look incredible still. Okay, yeah. the guy who heard about water sport, he got really, um, uh, let's say, he got a little nasty and he said, you never try, what's his name, what's his, Salestar. Have you ever tried scat other than pissing? Salestar. No, I'm sorry, I draw the line at shit. <laughs> I can't put shit in my mouth. I can't mention her name, but she's a big name. You were going to interview her but I think you might have, to have had to reschedule her. One time she accidentally shit in my mouth. She shit by accident? By accident? How? It was accidental. She was squirting, and I had her shoulders on the ground. And <laughs> really? And I was squirting in her asshole, 
and her pussy. And then I went down to go lick her asshole. Tony Rebus was shooting it, and we were over a white furry carpet. Okay. And she started to squirt, and out of her ass came shit. And it went right into my mouth. Right, but in your face or in your belly? In my mouth. Inside. And I got, and it was a terrible flavor. No. <laughs> what the fucking shit? <laughs> what shit? My God, that's no <laughs> happening to me. Happening to me, something similar. I was shooting Omar Galanti. You know Omar Galanti? No. Okay, he's an incredible Italian actor. We were in Russia and he was doing anal sex. So, you know, sometimes you pump, 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 and then in doggy position. And then when he pull out, he pull out and his dick came out. And then another dick came out. I say, what? Did he broke his dick? <laughs> and then it was not his dick. It was a fucking piece of shit big like this from the ass of the girl. But uh, the girl was so embarrassed that he turned around, he grabbed her shit, he ran to the toilet, he threw in the bathroom, he coming back, and she never looked at the camera anymore. That was incredible. <laughs> and me and Omar laughing like crazy. But huge, huge like this in one piece. It was like banana. It was incredible. You know from how you call this when 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 you have like the you pull the water that the you know like uh, hydraulico. Bam, bam, bam. It's, it was unbelievable. A giant turd. Yes, when yes, he, that's one. <laughs> Mr. Hanky that's, from South Park. That was unbelievable. 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 <laughs> Okay, somebody asked, what's your breast? De Boucher Jeanne, what's your breast? What is five, four, uh, six, seven? Um, I think, okay, these, these are United States sizes. I'm a 34 double D. 34. I'm heavier than I normally am right now because I'm just sitting indoors. But so my, my breasts are 34 double D in US size. Okay, just to change conversation from, from shit to Italian food. Jack Metallica, do you like Italian food? Yes, I love putting it in my mouth. Nice. You know, in Italy, Italy, wherever we go, we always... I mean, I go all over the world, always people go to the Italian restaurant. So I don't want to say, but we have the best food in the world. But I'm Italian, so it's, it's not me who I have to say this. Um, You're right. Billy Hoffman. Veronica, how long have you have been in the industry? Ten years now. Wow, already ten years. No, can you believe it? Wow. I can't. How many years have you been in? So there is uh, somebody, Dobouche Jean. What do you think about Kendra Last and Lisa N? So he's talk, he, he wants to know about other myth. What's your opinion? I think both of them are incredibly beautiful. Their bodies are insane. I mean, I definitely I could not hold a candle to their shape. They just naturally are, are built like that um and they work hard for it too mm -hmm. i don't know kendra as well i know she's a very nice lady lisa ann i happen to know very very well and i really i have nothing but good things to say about her she's a businesswoman. she's very smart she's very strong <clears throat> um but she's also having worked with her personally and been directed by her and just dealt with her on a personal level she's a very conscious kind caring person nice. she she's also the kind of person that says what she thinks so you know maybe you don't like it sometimes but you know you always get the truth from lisa yeah. Ann, so i like it. yeah it's, it's always <laughs> nice it's always nice people who are uh, honest i think sincere is the best you know, at least, uh, instead of to say things nice and then talk bad uh, behind it's always better this yeah, i don't think that uh, oh there God. is there is uh, one guy who's asking about uh, if you are if you are uh, how you deal with uh, being scared of disease. I I lost his name, but uh, okay, Giovanni Dan. Are you afraid of Giovanni. disease? Giovanni, mm -hmm. I try to make a routine every day. So I wake up 
at my time, nine o'clock, because I can sleep in. And I make my espresso and I have my coffee and I read a little bit. <clears throat> I have a book and then I turn on the news. I only watch the news for one hour. I find if I watch the news for all day, it's no good. You need to know what's going on. Watch the news. Make your schedule for the day. I, I keep myself busy and I try to play good music in the background, music that helps me to relax or feel happy. I'm just trying to stay focused on positive. And that's, <clears throat> that's the only way mm -hmm. I can tell you. No, none of us knows how this is going to turn out, but we must get through it. And so stay focused on the positive. Mm -hmm. Surround yourself with beautiful music. Do things that you love and make a routine for yourself. Don't stay in bed all day and don't watch news all day. Watch yeah. it so you know and then turn it off. Don't you agree, Rocco? Yeah, definitely, you... definitely. That's why we are here in the evening. That's why I do this for the fans, just to don't think all day about the bad stuff. Plus, I start to love it. I start to love to to talk to all, all the colleagues around the world, people I know, people I don't know, people I know alpha half. It's great to in to entertain fans and also myself because I'm in quarantine as you are uh, with the family yeah. and we try I have to follow the news just to understand what I'm going to do because everything seems to be cancelled all my work I had a different other things I wanted to do theater I was preparing myself for a live show you remember I told you on theater and everything has been cancelled I've, I, um, I had a, some plan to shoot some great stuff, cancel. So uh, at the moment, everybody flow on like what is going to be next. So by every day what I'm doing, just uh, try to keep a uh, little bit into the to the situation, like what's going on around the world. But on, the, sa but on the same time, I live my life. I'm not thinking about dying. I'm not thinking about get, getting sick or, you know, there is nothing we can do really. Well, when those thoughts do creep in, when it does, because it happens to me, I think, you know, not, I try to keep it at bay, but when those feelings come in, be honest with them. You know, all of us have to face the fact that we're mortal, but don't, okay, so recognize it. You realize you're mortal. Everyone else around you is mortal. There is a possibility at any point you are, in time for it. Veronica, you are a very smart person. I want to ask you something very personal. You, yes. you know, uh, when you have uh, things like this, it's always bad, like coronavirus. It's always bad. But in any bad situation, there is always a positive situation. What do you think about what's positive about coronavirus? For example, well, the future, maybe the people will be different, maybe the world will be different, maybe our soul will be different. What do you think? First of all, I want to start this by saying, and it's a quote, and I can't remember who it is, but the quote goes like this. I have never seen the darkest night without the dawning of a new day. That's clear. We are in a dark night right now, but there is always a new day that will dawn. Right now is time to reflect, but it's also time to think about what it is that you want your life to be about. Do you want your life to be about always being afraid that you're not going to have enough? Always you, 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 you. Or maybe this is a time for us to really start to put into our consciousness again the fact that all of us are connected. The people, the animals, the plants, we're all connected to each other. And maybe if something good comes out of this, I would hope it would be in that vein of people raising us in a self-conscious way without being preached at, just from having this time to reflect and reconnect with themselves reconnect with yourself and with the world around you in a different way that we do have responsibility towards each other and to be a little kinder towards each other. Just be good to each other. It's very simple. 
It's very, very yeah, simple. I, I'm, uh, I listen to you very, very clearly because I think the same. I'm pretty sure it will be a huge shock for the mind and the soul of everybody. And to, to put ourselves like, uh, you know, when you when something becomes, uh, I, can I tell you something? I do, I do something which looks stupid. But when you fuck and you keep fucking the same way and you don't realize the, fr the person in front of you, he doesn't have no nothing, he doesn't like anymore, she doesn't like anymore the way you are fucking her and you don't understand that you don't realize the person in front of you needs you to change. This is what I think the situation changed the mind of the people that uh, at one point you everybody the human me being was doing exactly the same thing like everybody watch the others everybody does what the others does and no many people was doing a live for themselves like to think to react to do not be behind social media be behind this behind that behind what is doing what the other one does and try to do whatever you really feel you should to live your life. I think the world was getting a little bit too flat. I think we said a little bit the same thing, right? I agree. I agree. I think it's twofold. I think it's part of that because you have to have self-awareness. You have to understand what it is you're even thinking or feeling. And if all day long you're just like this, all day long, social media, computer, social media, computer, and you never, and then you go home and there's more stuff you know, because you can keep yourself busy and remain distracted from what your heart is telling you. You need to listen to your heart. Maybe some people are going to come out of this and change their careers. Yeah. Think about so, that. So, uh, Veronica, just because we talk about this, show me your ass just a second so I can go back in the mood. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm show, very good at being... Show me your ass because I can go back in the mood right away. All our fans. <laughs> Well, yes, yes, nice, nice, <laughs> nice, very nice. Okay, that's we're back. So, Scott, what do you ever work with uh, transsexual star? Yes, I have one time, and her, oh, her face is right in my head. Oh, Natalie Mars. Oh yeah, well, she's one of the I best. Love. One of the best. Yeah. One of my dear, dear, dear friends, though, um, and now I oh no, you know what? I can't even mention her because her stage name. I know her by her real name. And her Aubrey Kate. Aubrey Kate. No, 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 Morgan. Okay, no problem. No problem. No, no worries. Sorry. No, because I know her by her real name. You know how that is when you're yeah, that. No, close no, no. Of course, of course, of course. Yeah. There yeah. is. There is. Um, okay. Alessandro Paina, who they are your most dream guys for a DP? Dream guys, the guys you never had. The guys that I've never had? On DP, on DP. Or maybe, oh, or maybe, okay. or maybe you oh. had, or maybe you had it, or maybe you had it. Not just because you're here, Rocco Sofredi and Steve Holmes. Ah, wow. You know what? I've, I was thinking Rocco and Marcus. The young and the older. I, the young and the older. <laughs> I love I love Marcus. I just love Steve's oh, very dumb. Come on, Steve, mind. Steve is uh, one of the biggest and the oldest uh, so performer perfect. in the in the in the industry. He's a passionate, he always wants to fuck. What the fuck him he has this guy? Oh, okay. so he's really into it. And really, really, only, only, always sex. He's incredible. You know why he's incredible? Because yeah, I... also when he has uh, his holiday, he goes to a swingers place. Down. He's, he's the best. I know him and his wife and I've hung out with him, his wife and the family. He's the best. So. He's the best. No, he's the best. But he's just, I would love to have that look from him. Like, oh, you little nasty slut. That's what you want, right? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to get Salesnar is asking, since you are MILF, what do you think about two new starlets, which in America they are like the best starlets? Who you prefer, Emily, or what do you think? No, you prefer, sorry. What do you think about Emily Willis and Gianna Dior? I don't know them. I, I'm sure they're great. So, I don't know. No, if you don't, if you don't know them, then it's no problem. Veronica, what do you think about MILF colleague Francesca Lee? 
Oh, I love Francesca. Oh my gosh. Are you kidding me? Francesca, I worked with her long, long time ago. I, I've worked with her before at kink.com and um, she's very good at being dominant and I'm very good at being submissive, especially, I just love her. I know I've known her and Mark Woods for years. You know, they're a power couple. Yeah, yeah, very nice, know. Mark. I know, I'm friends with you. I love them. She's great. She's a powerhouse. She'll fuck the shit out of you. Let me tell you I know, something. I know, I know, I know her. I worked with her long, long time ago. She was a teenager, imagine. So that makes, oh, wow. that makes me feel very old. Giovanni Sinatra oh. is asking... No, sorry. Yeah, Gio Giovanni Danna. Do you know, but I think you know, Kelly Stafford? I know. Uh, I yeah. know, you know her, you know her. And can I tell you something? She would have loved to be here tonight to interview you. Oh, I would have loved to have met her. She told me, you know why? Because I'm a big friend with Kelly. I have to tell you, as uh, porn uh, people, like all the industry in the world, my biggest, biggest friend is Kelly Stafford. And, I know. And, uh, and with Kelly, we speak a lot, we talk, we chat. And she knew it. I was interviewing you and I was very enthusiastic. She said, oh, fuck, I wish I would uh, get into this... Uh, uh, conversation because I guess she I knows you very well. That. Well, if we have a part two, please let's have a menage a trois. We will do menage a trois. Can I tell you something? You, her, and me on a scene. My God, my God. <laughs> so, Federico Faglioni, do you know Malena, the Italian porn star, and Valentina Nappi, the other international Italian porn star? I guess you know Valentina. What about Malena? I, I don't know Malena, um, but I do know who Valentina Nappi is. I just have to say this. I don't go to a lot of the parties and socialize a lot. So I work with people, but then the people that I'm friends with, it's usually like a camera person. Yeah, I know what you mean. I know what you mean. I don't know a lot of these people and I hate to disappoint people. You know? No, no, it's absolutely understandable because uh, I'm totally like you because I'm not party guy either. I go to the AVN or XBs. That's the most I can do. I don't really meet around with people. As I told you, yeah. probably I have a few friends. You know Cherry Kiss, of course. Yeah, you know, yes. you know Amira Dara, you know Tiffany Tatum in Europe. Those girls are the yeah. best with Veronica Lille. Uh, did you never met Veronica? No, but she's beautiful. She's, fa she's fantastic. Her. Those are the four. Those are the four musketeers for for Europe. They are, they are like the most top performer in Europe. I, be I believe. All, it. All and those, all and uh, as as uh, that's why I want to tell you. If you tell me now other names, I don't know. No, I don't know them, or I heard. But if you tell me what you think about her, about him, so so many fans when I did my live as you are doing now, as answering question, they ask me what do you know about her, about her, about. I'm like, what the fuck am I know? I don't know them. <laughs> I, it's too long. I think they really think that we're like a really close knit community, which in a way we are, but people don't realize that we're not just hanging out together at high school. Yes, you know? Federico Faglioni just mentioned Evelyn Delay. Yes, I forget one. Do you know the twins, the Czech, Czech, uh, uh, Italian twins, the Delay no, twins? I Do, that they sound yeah, amazing already. Those two, those two girls are incredible, truthfully. And I have to tell you, I just shot with Evelyn a few months ago one of the best POV I ever shot because she was at one point fantastic. Yesterday we had a live with Valentina and she said one thing very important. Never judge porn star on the beginning of her career because she will change. That's true. Yeah. That's true. Uh, That's many, true. many times pro producers search for new girls because they want to be the first. But then uh, the same girls we probably good, very good at first time or completely bad, but doesn't matter because few few months later she will understand. I remember girls like Tara White. You never heard Tara White? Yeah, yeah. yes, I have. Tara, Wh have. Tara White. I remember she was 18. People was almost f fell in the floor when you see her, and she, I remember she, on the beginning, she didn't want to work with me because she says. Oh, you too strong. I don't like. I don't like strong sex. I don't like violence. And they say to her, "No problem. We don't have to work." 
Then she asked for me once she understood porn and sex and she told me why I didn't do before. So that's that's how you develop in sex. What do you think about this? Uh, I, w I would like to have your your advice to younger generation who reach porn 18 and they tell me during POV they tell me Rocco choke me pull my hair slap me I have no limits do you like this attitude or I have no limits is too much at that age I think it's too much but that's like because I'm a trained submissive and you can tell that actually having I, I trained with Ken Marcus I don't know if you remember who Ken Marcus is mm -hmm. Very famous photographer. I actually really trained with him as a submissive. And the thing is, is that you really need to understand what's going on in your mind as well as with your body if you like something. And see, with someone like you, I know that those girls are safe. But what I worry about is if they walk into a situation with a guy who's not had years of experience doing these things and they could get hurt or worse yet, you know, their mind isn't ready for it just because they've seen it in the porn. Does that make sense? I actually walk a road of caution and balance with this. I think it's very, very fun and cathartic to reach your outer limits, but you need to do that with someone you can trust. And you also need to be able to talk through how you felt about it afterwards. If anything does end up kind of feeling not right to you. Mm -hmm. And so I think that's kind of a hard thing to try out for the first time on a porn set. I think you need to be in a more intimate situation where you can talk to that. Of course you can talk after, but it's not the same. Does that make sense? Of course it does. Of course it does. But uh, I, want, I want to follow up just a little bit with this. For example, what do you think? Why girls 18 arrives on the casting and decide the right way rough sex? Do you think because it's fashionable? Do you think because they grow up with porn and then they are, they know more about sex? Or do you think because they want they want uh, uh, put themselves in higher level? I think it's all three. All three, yeah. I I think you know because I have met people that you know, and it freaks me out because I'm 47 year olds that are come up to me and said, oh, I've been a fan of yours since I was like 12 years old. And I'm like, <laughs> welcome to the club. Welcome to the club. <laughs> I'm saying like, oh my God, you were watching what I do at 12 years old. Oh my gosh. So I believe it is all three. I mean, there's a lot to be said about that. I am definitely someone who's been well-trained in BDSM and in the protocols so I'm a little more aware and very cautious to give any kind of blanket statement about those kinds of things because some people really need to work those things out um, in a safe setting. And some people are just doing it because they think, oh, that's what I need to do in order to be good. And then they end up hurting inside because that's not what they really they weren't communicating at 18 years old is still, in my opinion, I'm sorry. I am a parent of someone that age and that child is not ready for the world I live in. Not quite yet. And the decisions I make. You are, you are absolutely right. And this is exactly the explanation I wanted from a woman like you with a lot of experience. Mom, I know you have children. That's the reason why I was interested because Many times happened to me uh, to put those girls a little bit on, like test them to see if it's real or no. And I have to tell you the truth. Most of the time they say, stop, 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 stop. Because, because they don't know what they are talking about, of course. And the second yeah. thing, uh, so once in a while you have the real one. For example, Kelly was 12, Annette Schwartz started at 12. At 12 years is when the sexuality start to move into the body of, uh, how you say, from children, you start to move into adol ad adolescence, adolescent, you know? Yeah. So basically, I had girls which then they became huge star and in porn, and they knew it at that age, but uh, 
you know exactly when that thing eats you what is it you know right away it's not like because you saw it but because it's on you it's on you are you i, I mean i guess you are agree about this yeah and i think also to try it like you said and then say okay you know what that was a little too far out there on the edge of the cliff for me maybe i wanted to try that but maybe that's not for me i've been in situations like that where i was like okay let's try it and then i get there and i just i'm like this and it's not fun i don't i am not by any means a masochist i don't like to be scared I am not that kind of person. So to be with someone that you can trust, that's that to me is a true dominant submissive relationship where you actually can trust your master or your sir or your mistress to only take you as far out as you're capable of going and then bringing you back in. But if they just keep pushing you out there because they're truly a sadist instead of a master, then you're going to end up not, I mean, the first thing that's going to break yeah. is your mind. So that's, that's my big concern with that is that it's done in a safe manner where they can figure it out. You know, you don't know until you try, but maybe you try it and it's great and you want more like Kelly or me, or maybe it's not so good and you don't need to do that again. But, right? Veronica, you are perfect. You are incredible. The way you're explaining makes sense completely. It's so clear. Okay, Gary D, yeah. would Veronica ever a second with Donald Trump? If we go politic here. <laughs> <laughs> Here's what I think about Donald Trump. He's a pig, eh? I don't like that guy. Yeah. I, I mean, I read history books, so I just don't like him. I think he's a narcissist. And I think he's dangerous, and the people he surrounds himself with are yes men. And I frankly think that they're all. Yeah, he's, def tough. he's definitely a narcissist. And def and definitely, that's for sure. I think, yeah. I think he would love to put himself in a porno movie as a main role. Probably. And then King, you know, knight himself and make himself the emperor of the world. Yeah, for but sure. But that being said, if I saw Donald on the sidewalk bleeding, or with a broken leg, I, I would do what I could to help him. So, nice. just so you understand, I disapprove of him. I think he's not okay in the head. I think that, that he's sick in the head. But would I try to, would I wish evil upon him? No, I just want him to go away. That's, somewhere. that's, that's, that's we probably, <laughs> probably <laughs> be... Giovanni Sinatra, yeah. do you prefer shaved or airman? Shave, please, shave, please. Don't shave your chest hair. So just shave your, your balls and everything. Please. Uh, what do you what do you think about the bush in the pussy which disappeared? That's for me. That's my question. Why this new fashion of every pussy are shaved? Why? I like having just a little thing. I don't know, because the trend is to look younger and younger and younger. I don't know. I feel like I look funny if I don't have a little bit of hair down there. But I don't like these big bushes either. I'm not. A, do you like big bushes? I love it. Are I you, love it. You love it. It's sexy. I love huh? it completely, because this reminded me when I was very young. And I think bush, bush, it's, uh, it's something which I won't lose myself in it. <laughs> So, so you like like Adriana Chet? Now I love Adriana Chet. I love it. I, I love her. I love her. Love I love bush. her. Okay, so that's the one thing I'm not a big fan of big old bushes, but I don't like it all shaved off either. I like it just kind of, you know, you know, I'm '90s style. I'm like from 1997. Good. Good. I want just like Veronica. Can I tell you something? I like yeah. I like shaved, super bushed, little little mustache, uh, Alf. <laughs> Completely clean, uh, puffy, uh, line, uh, slide. I like the way you are. Unleash, I see pussy there. I love it. I, I can adapt myself in any, in any all, in any all. So there is a, a strawberry vision, which I know her, Federica. She's asking, would you love to have a woman as president of United States? I think that would be lovely. 
I'm personally a Bernie Sanders fan, and I know that will be controversial amongst some people, but I would have, listen, whoever is actually going to do the job well, please bring them to us. That's all I know. I would be happy to see a woman. Arretto85, what you do for sport, if you do? Water sports. Ah, water sports. Okay, guys, (laughs) start to do water sports. Okay. <laughs> uh, no, I ride my bike and I roller skate and, you know, I, I love to fuck. So, Ru- and I walk. Ruby asked, does the size matter? In a way, yes. I would say stiffness for me matters more than having a big floppy, like when it's so big that it's just floppy because my pussy's so strong if it's not stiff neither one of us are going to be able to enjoy it. So I like stiff cock. Nice. Michele Bozzuto, what do you think about Johnny Sins? I love Johnny Sins, and I love it that he's got Kissa with him. They're the cutest couple ever. I love Johnny. He's fun to fuck. I I tried to find him to put him on live, but I cannot reach him. I don't understand. Does he work? Does he stop? He's in holiday, I guess, no? He's maybe on holiday. I don't know. You see his, you see his girl. Mm-hmm. You'd be having a holiday too. <laughs> Arreto84 is asking, uh, do you know Martina Smeraldi? Of course you know, because you guys made uh, Erotic Land together. Yes, yes. What do, you, uh, what do you think about this nasty teenager Italian? What do you think about her? I thought he was amazing. She's amazing. He, yeah. definitely, he wanted to fuck. He was a lot of fun. Yeah, she, she, I think she's a nympho. Oh, my, I'm so sorry. Yes, her. I was thought you were talking about the other guy. You know, no, no, Martina, Martina, Martina Martin, Esmeralda, Martin, the cute, Martina. the cute teenager. Yes, yes, yes. She's beautiful and super. That whole crew, though, I mean, you only had a few of us there for this show. You, there were The only people that were there were people that really... That, very nice. Well, you know what's yeah. you know what's funny? You know what's funny? As soon as I said that the, she's the nymphomaniac, you said, "Oh yeah, her, her." <laughs> so you <laughs> you recognize her as soon as I say nympho. So you see, uh, okay, Sally's not eleven. Have you ever done a book scene? A bukkake scene? Yeah. Oh yes, I did actually premium bukkake. I think I did like seventy three loads. Really? Where can I see this? <laughs> This is on premiumbukaki.com. My very good friend Torbe Puta Puta Lakora shoots for them. You know Torbe from Spain. Ah, you Torbe. Uh, you made Torbe in Spain. You made this. Is the is the I, most I, famous bukaki man bukaki man in the world. I worked for him. I stayed at his place. Uh, I hung uh, out with him. Okay, with I have dog. to tell you something. I have to tell you something for Torbe. Okay. If okay. Torbe started the Bukaki, I'm sure he start by watching my movies long time ago. Because on the 93, my first movie, I shot I start shoot with guys, no actors. You have to know this small story because all the porn star was uh, a little bit uh, strange that Rocco started to do a production. He started to be a director. So in Europe was like new. So everybody was like, uh, laugh at me. So I said, fuck you guys, I will use fans. So I started to call fans. And the way I was doing scene, me starting the scene and all the guys around me. Sometimes uh, the scenes was crazy. Like uh, the girl start to suck me and all of a sudden I have a four or five ends on my dick. I'm like, what the fuck are you guys doing? But then slo- <laughs> by slowly getting on like 50, 100, 200, that was my first movie. Uh, never say uh, never say never to Rocco. No, mai dire mai a Rocco. And uh, I don't know if you know this guy from America. I think you are a fan of porn. You should to know them. Anabolic. Anabolic start to make them first, Anabolic. them first gangbang movie, and they call yeah. and they call it gangbang after my my orgy scene. Really? Yes, Chris told me. Chris told me. Rocco seeing those fucking scene with 100, 200 guys and the girls recover with cum. 
I start to think that was incredible, never seeing it before. So he started the gang bang. That was 95, 96 when they started the gang bang, 14 years. And then the fashion start all over the world. And now Torbe is the biggest Bukaki man in the world. But uh, Torbe, Torbe is freaking hilarious. I know, I know, I know. I, I saw his stuff. But I wanted to tell you because this whole thing starts with real fans. That's crazy. That's so crazy. Let's see, and that's why I enjoyed so much going to Germany to Sperma Studio because it was a tested gangbang with real fans with you know and and that's what i want to do experience you know you know what i miss uh, you know what i miss with you one big experience but that was my mistake because i didn't know you were coming to to europe to work the academy if you would have been the teacher on the academy together with malena you girls would have been fantastic the best teacher ever Well, don't doubt that I'm not going to come back. Are you still doing the Academy now? You know, you... my cousin, Gabriel, the one you met, he died. He died just uh, months oh. ago. Oh, I'm so sorry. Don't worry, don't that. worry. He died, he died really with heart attack. And unfortunately, he was the really uh, promoter of the Academy, the organizer. So I have to definitely figure out to do it again for his... Uh, for him, for him, because he used to love oh. this. And uh, this whole thing was really because we love real people. I, I personally like very much the relationship with the real people, uh, real guys, real. Yeah, yeah because the yeah. sexuality is more interesting to my point of view. And, and you, you see where people, you know, you can see that innocence sometimes. Yeah. Where someone's and it's so exciting as opposed to, Oh, yeah, I'm just doing another game. Yeah, game yes, and that's what I mean. That's what I mean. It's completely yeah, different. Like it's completely like different. It. And, and yeah. that's why you and Malena together would have been fantastic, fantastic, well, fantastic. Well, put it completely out of your mind. If there's anything I can't... We've talked about this for years now, off and on, about doing something together. And if that opportunity does arise before i'm finally just done <laughs> no no you will I'm... never be done <laughs> you you have the same, well, same problem i have we, we, you, we like too much that's the problem we like too much i know i'm like the elizabeth taylor of porn you're just gonna watch me get older and older and the guys are just gonna keep staying about the same age eh? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. That was a really shitty thing. I don't mean that, but no, I love sex. I'll always love sex. My mom cracks me up. My mom is I... my mom's pretty old now and she's I know I get my sexuality from her because she's like, you know, sometimes I just get so horny. I just <laughs> you, old <laughs> she's your mother. Old she's your mother. She is seventy eight years old she now. She still have sex? She's a widow. She's widow? She's a widow, but what she says to me is, my darn arthritis, I just try. I get so horny sometimes, and then I I get tired. So I got her a vibrator, and she's happy now. <laughs> but, she was, you know, but she's from a different generation, so but, like she knows but, what I do, and we can talk about that's it. That's nice. Really that's nice. Veronica, you know which one was my records? Three women, Ooh. three women together. The youngest, youngest, sixty-eight. The oldest, the oldest was seventy-eight. The age of your mother. I bet they had fun yeah. with you too. I bet you had fun with them. And um, I tell you, I put all three together. I said, no one, Teresa Orlowski, she gave me this opportunity, and I say, and they were all widow. I say, put all them together. Uh, one of the most fun scene I had. Fun. I bet because they appreciate it. Oh, you know what? I look like myself. I was a teenager. Really. <laughs> I said, oh I said, I'm a really teenager boy with them. It was fantastic. Right. I, you, it's like, you, you, you know, you, can I tell you the secret? How did I get hard? Can I tell you? Yes. By looking them on the eyes, I said, I'm sure this girl, when she was, I remember I get the old one, she was 78, she had the blue eyes and the skin completely lost, really wrinkles all over the place, but deeply on her eye, I look inside and I look herself when she was 20. I said, this girl, she must have been 18, 19, 20, one time in her life. And I fucked then when she was like this and I see from her eyes the appreciation uh, uh, she appreciated as you said and to me that was enough to to keep my dick hard really 
So that's beautiful. You know, I, when I was studying with the Tantrika, um, we worked with some women that had issues with having orgasms, like mental blocks. And it's funny because it wasn't a porno type scene. It was very therapeutic, but there was actual genital contact going on and all of that. These women, when they would finally have an orgasm, would cry and release. And then they would look radiant afterwards, like they were 10, 15 years younger, just from that release of that. I'm a big believer that, that sex and not not violence like uh, now we're gonna get off and but sex in and of itself orgasms it it is part of the life force. Is the mo is really the most is the most important energy we have. Yes. So Veronica, we arrive to the end as I promised the fans we would keep you a little longer, but I don't want to kill you, of course. I just want to thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. And uh, really, you have been fantastic. I know some fans wrote, can, can she please show us again our, our feet, something before she leaves? That's the most thing they wanted to hear. And, and if you have something to say to our fan, which they are in quarantine and waiting there, maybe get bored. Look at this, guys. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. You, oh, no, you, I... you can do everything with your feet. Eh? You love to jerk off dick with this feet. Eh? Yes, 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 yes. It's yes, fantastic. Yes. Fantastic. Yes, yes. Well, here's what I want to say to all of you. <clears throat> Remember what I said earlier? Yeah. I wish I had said it myself, but it's a quote. I have never seen the darkest night without the dawning of a new day. There is a new day coming. Hang in there. Don't let things get you down. Be good to yourself. Be good to others. And use this time as a time to reflect a little bit about what it is that you would love to do with your life. Maybe there's something out there you've been too busy to pay attention to. And watch the news, but don't watch too much of it. Take care of yourself. Don't live in fear. I send all my love, big hugs, big boobies, <laughs> and a big ass right now. <laughs> and and for the boys alone, which they need to masturbate, what do you want to tell them? To masturbate on which scene? Tell them which one is the, the, the scene which they need to masturbate. The scene with me and Rocco Sofredi, absolutely, where I have the red hair. And, 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 then and you know something, you know something very funny? That scene is visible from all Italy for free because they put my site for free in Italy. Wow, yeah. how nice of you. Yeah, that was oh, important. That, for sure. Oh, well now, oh, but it's in Ragazzi, andate sul mio sito, andate sul mio sito e guardatevi la scena mia con Veronica Avluv e capirete la forza di questa donna, la bellezza, il cuore, tutto quello che ha. Veronica, thank you, thank you, thank you. You are really unbelievable. I love you. Big kiss. Big kiss. And uh, let's put this together in calendar. We have to do a big project together as soon as we are free. Let's do it. All keep right. safe. Keep safe. Say hi to your mother. You too. And say hello to your wife. And of your course, family. I will. Ciao. Grazie mille. Ciao, 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 ciao. Ciao ragazzi, ci vediamo domani sera. Ciao ragazzi, ciao 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 ciao.